Okay, we're going to start with the animal portrait and one of the easiest ways to transfer your image onto your page for those of you that want it to be really like realistic is by using tracing paper. Those of you who are at home, I know you might not have this with you, but it's very cheap and you could probably find it at Michael's or Joanne's very easily. So right now I'm going to trace this just the outline, so I'm going to go through, find where the tongue is. This is a shadow right here. Let's fill that in a little bit. I'm not going to get a whole lot of details, I'm just kind of going through and finding lights and darks. You want to have your drawing or your your photograph um, printed. And this is one of the reasons. You can't ex exactly do this with a phone. I saw somebody trying to do it with an iPad and it's kind of successful but not really. Another line right here. Ah. Oh, shoot. One thing is you have to make sure that you stay registered. So, seeing that I totally forgot about that aspect, I'm going to get some masking tape. And I'm going to tape this up here. So that it will not move on me like that. Okay, up here some more lights. So I'm really just kind of mapping a lot of this stuff out. There's a faint line right here. There's that big old nose. My dog really has a schnoz. Remember the stippling practice that we did? That'll probably come in handy at this point right here. So you're going to start your drawing with light pencil. And then you'll once you have it mapped out with pencil and pretty much drawn almost except for the shading, you're going to go through and um, do the ink on top of it and then go through and erase all the pencil marks. I can't see very well with that. I need my glasses. a dark mark. This is Sully, by the way. He is a greyhound that we rescued back in April when we were all under quarantine. He is a goofy, goofy animal. This is actually an image of him asleep. He sleeps with his eyes open. His mouth falls out, or his tongue falls out. 
It's hilarious to watch. The second step is to trace over the tracing. And this will transfer the image, but it'll be backwards. So if I want it to be the right side, I'll have to trace it again this way. The other option is to use a light table, but I know most of you don't have access to a light table. Miss Bolak has one on the other side. But I do not have one. I'm sure I could use hers, but I don't know that I really feel like it.
So I'm not bothering filling in all the dark areas. It's just a line drawing. I'm kind of hinting towards where there's white and where there is like high contrast without filling it in. So I'm going to have to keep my picture out in order to um, determine that stuff. I'm not going to be able to memorize everything. So you should always keep your picture out when you're doing this stuff. Okay, so there's that tracing. Let's see how that transferred. I'm going to get another piece of paper and I'm going to do it the right way. Okay, so now I have another piece of paper and I'm going to go back to the original. And so now it's exactly the same way it was in the image, in the um, photograph. It's facing the right way. Yeah. And then now I start going over the next part. Start going over it. I might just do two portraits actually, maybe one in color and one in black and white. That would be kind of cool to frame them, put them together. I don't expect you guys to do that though. You do have to kind of press hard on um, the pencil when you're transferring it from a um, tracing. weekend.